I actually have three alarms that's been going on in my phone right now 415, 430, and 435 By the way, it's October 29 already and it's Friday so I've been waking up super early because it, it started on Tuesday I started going back to the gym Just the gym here in the building And I've been on a treadmill for like 30 minutes I'm so proud of myself for <laughs> doing this is my fourth consecutive day for doing this super happy about it i can also tell that the energy is different when i get at work because it's like i'm super awake already this past few days i've really been trying to set my mind something's gonna change and i it has to be from me like no one can do it for me there's really no target i just want to get back into the habit of hitting the gym at least four times a week but I kind of find that 30 minutes is short period of time because every time I would come back in here I feel like I am in a rush to get ready and to get to work which is like right now I need to put my shoes on <laughs> Oh, I didn't make This is my coworker. Oh no, she didn't wear makeup today, so she's keeping her mask on. <laughs> not even eyeshadow, right? Not even, not even eyeshadow today. <laughs> Yesterday she was so pretty. <laughs> Hey, good morning everyone. It's already 7.55 in the morning. It's Saturday and I've already had two cups of coffee as well. Today, I'm actually waiting for Nikki to come over because I requested if I can practice on her. Probably see Nikki, not in my recent vlogs, but she was my very first model when I was still attending my makeup school. She is going to sit down for me. I need to practice on doing hair. I want to perfect this craft like the hairstyling just about set up and I'm also waiting for Nikki to give us a call because that way she can you know park in the guest area parking Nikki already have a really nice skin so I'm just literally gonna do a little bit of her eyes maybe cover the dark circles put on some eyelashes and then yeah I'm just gonna tidy up the work area here, clean up the brushes. I booked myself an appointment for three o'clock in the nail salon to have this taken off. My nails are cracking, so I'm gonna get rid of the gel for now and then probably just schedule myself another nail appointment sometime in mid-November. Okay, this is Camille, by the way, working on the charcuterie board. I hope I said that right. Is it just me or anybody else having a hard time pronouncing charcuterie?
morning everyone <laughs> it's already sunday eight o'clock in the morning i actually have to meet up with Chantel at 11 today we're going to heart house she's gonna come and pick me up here because it's our month end of catch up last night was really fun <laughs> it was it was a really good time hanging out with them do my hair and makeup it's already 9 40. Chantal said she's gonna be here probably 10 30 10 40 so I still have an hour to do my hair and my makeup I'm not doing anything grand when it comes to my makeup I think I'm more particular with the hair because this doesn't look appealing when it's air dry <laughs> I'm really excited because we're going to Heart House I haven't been to Heart House also Chantel hasn't been there as well so it's really exciting for us to try this we were thinking of ordering a bunch of food because that way we can try it all out I can also share with you guys my thoughts about the heart house restaurant if you are ever looking to check it out as well i have a feeling that this this could be a good experience i do have my own personal kit in here and my own personal brushes as well which is due for cleaning already i also mentioned that the bathroom that we have right now isn't as big as what we used to have in the other unit so i have to be efficient with my space in here let me show you guys what i mean here's the current setup I have an extension cord that runs. The, these are the hot tools that I will be using. Tripod is right here. By the way, if you guys are ever wondering, this tripod is newer, I think. It's from newer, so it has this, the extension of this tripod actually bends. So that's where I put up the camera in here. This is us. This is the makeup station. I have my phone in here to watch some YouTube. But yeah, this is the whole set. <laughs> We are all done. I just need to pack up my stuff. This is the final look. I just straightened up my hair a little bit. I just want to keep it more like natural and simple. So I am going to get moving. I need to pack up this camera, bring extra batteries, bring the GoPro just in case. Burger and then Tide for the focaccia and the waffle. I think that's my ranking. Yeah. 
It was pretty close. Like I think the burger, it was a good call because you had a choice between fries, salad, and during brunch, the hash browns or smash browns. And those were good. I recommend. Recommend. Yeah. And if you're gonna get like, I mean, the tough part is that the pasta is a feature, so it's not the same each and every single time. But the one that we had was good, and our server Jenny was the one who like suggested to have it with like chili. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that was good. That yeah. was also good on the burger. What about you? If I would rank it, I would go with the burger first. Oh. That one was really good. Mm -hmm. I think Chris will like that one. The potato, Chris made the same thing, so it was like nothing really special with the potato, but Chris's is better. I would say it's a tie. <laughs> okay. It's a tie. The burger beef was actually really good on this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it was like maybe medium. Yeah. There's still a little pink in the middle, but it wasn't like bloody. Yeah. We had to split it. It doesn't feel heavy. Because there are some burgers where in, even if you split it in half, it feels, yeah. yeah, it feels like it's very heavy. This one yeah. is not. There's no cheese in it. It was perfect. Yeah. And it's a potato bun. Usually potato buns are dense, mm -hmm. but that one was really good because sometimes when you have burgers and you split it in the mm -hmm. middle, the juices come out and it makes the bun soggy. Yeah. It wasn't soggy. Yeah. Right? Was there like, a bacon in there? I think there was, bacon, right? Like smoked bacon or... Yeah, that one was really good too. Yeah. I don't normally eat bacon, but like bacon and burger, that one yeah. was good. That one is good. I would go second with the pasta. That one was really neat. It almost feels like it's like plant-based pasta because there's no meat on it. Yeah, not that I know of. I think there was like pancetta, but it was like very rare. Yeah. Like, I don't know what kind of sauce it is, but it was actually good cream. But it's really good. And I've never had a kind of pasta before from Kasha. And then last is waffle. There's nothing really special with waffles. No. The bread no. was good. The bread was good. Yeah. I would eat the bread all the time. Yeah, the bread was really good. But yeah, waffle. That's it. Okay. It was a good dessert. <laughs> it was. It wasn't too sweet. I think yeah. it was like if you had that with coffee, mm -hmm. which was just what we had, like yeah. that was good. Um because it's they didn't have like cranberry or pear today. We yeah. they swapped it off with apple. apple and toasted nuts, which is really good. Yeah, it's like nothing really like mm. it's easy to get to, yeah. like it's off the high. They have their own parking lot, which is good. Yeah, you don't have to pay for parking. It's really nice. Good enough space. Yeah, we would go back. Would you yes. Go back? Yeah, I would. I would probably go for dinner because this yeah. one is brunch. Our server said that they change the menu almost every month. New transitions with the chef. Who knows? Maybe with the stuff that we had might not even be the same. Yes. That is it for the heart house, and I guess I'm gonna end the vlog in here as well. Bye. Bye. <laughs>